Warning, there is no actual value for all the lumions out there and this is just based on demand and supply technique that leads to the value of a certain lumion. I would only show you guys the market value of various lumions but it will change after a few months, most probably after every new update. Hey buddies, it's your Ninja Thunder Z96 and today I will be talking about the values of a Gleam, a secret ability aka SA, and Gammas only if I have the time to do so. If you guys haven't watched the basics of this tutorial, please head over to the description down below. There will be a link about the basics of trade values in Trade Resort. Before I start please do subscribe to my channel and turn on the notification bell for the latest updates, tips and giveaways on Lumion Legacy. Also, I would like to thank Kaimalov and Snaki123 for sharing these valuable information to me and of course, to you guys. Firstly, I will be talking about the SA value of a normal Lumion. If it's a random SA Lumion that is caught in the wild, it will be around a gleam or so. You can only get an SA in the wild if you have a secret ability charm, if not, you can always rally a totemized SA Lumion with good UPs and correct natures. With that, you can trade it with two gleams or two shards. However, it really depends on the secret ability that you have. For example, secret ability Snow Cub, secret ability Eaglet, secret ability Gobademic and secret ability Babor aren't as welcoming as secret ability Shachi or secret ability Igneal. So please do know what to rally in order to get a decent trade with an SA that many people need for PvP. If you had the time and wanted to TP trained an SA totemized Lumion, it would probably worth a Gleam starter or 3 to 4 shards. Moving on to the SA roamings. For SA Ikazun and Duskit, it is worth 4 gammas and the good nature ones can get up to 8 gammas. SA Ferroglyph will be around 3 to 4 gammas. Whereas a good nature SA Ferroglyph can get around 5 to 6 gammas. SA Mutagon is on high demand now and at market price, it will be around 4 gammas but someone would overpay ASA Mutagon for 10 gammas. As for SA Protogon, we were not sure about it because not many people demand for it so it would probably be priced around 6 to 10 gammas if the Protogon is pure smart or pure nimble in nature. Moving on, I will be talking about the gleam values of various Lumians. Common gleams like Capnote, Grubby, Cradle, Kabunga and Slugling are worth a gleam or maybe a shard. As for rare root gleams like Shachi, Gumpod, Fangcub, Gobademic, Kleptike, and Kutrel, they are priced at 3 gleams. For Gleam Operaptor and Gleam Igneal, it is worth a Gleam Starter. As for Totemized Gleam Rare Root Lumions, it is worth a Gleam Starter and for Gleam Totemized Operaptor and Igneal, it's worth a Gamma. As for Gleam Totemized Common Gleams, it may varies from 2 to 4 Gleams. Moving on, SA Gamma is worth 0.6 Gleam Roaming Value. AKA GR Value, which is approximately equivalent to 25 Gammas. For your own information, 1 GR value is equivalent to 40 gamma value. So whenever someone talks about GR value, it's usually ranged from 0.1 GR value to 40 GR value. Before I end my video, I would like to go through the values of a Gleam starter. Usually 2 Gleam starter would worth a decent gam. If your Gleam starter is totemized with the right nature, it will be equivalent to a gamma. If you want it to trade with gleams alone, it would be 6 or more gleams, depending if it's totemized or not. Alright, I think I will stop here for now in case you guys are overloaded with a lot of information. Please do leave a like and comment in the comments section down below if you have any inquiries. I will try my best to reply to you guys if possible. If I didn't reply, it's either I'm hibernating or vibing in school with my books. In the next video, I will be talking about the gamma values and gleam SA values as well so stay tuned. Thank you for watching and I hope to see you again soon. Goodbye.